Hey everyone, it's Ivan, keepadstra.com, out here for another gear review, and today I'm talking holster accessories. This guy right here, which is the thigh strap hanger by Carry Concealment. Big picture, what is it? What does it do? Well, it's a thigh strap hanger. So it's a thigh strap for a holster and it hangs down. So basically alleviates some different things you can run into if you're running a thigh strap on a holster. We put this on pretty much as you would expect. Line our belt up, put that there, and this just comes around and we snap it into place and we're good to go. So what is unique or special about this setup? One arguable benefit of any thigh strap on holster is to help anchor the pistol. So if you have, like say a Safari Land holster where you have active retention, that you defeat like with your thumb boom draws out super smooth doesn't really matter as much when you have passive retention where the holster is clamped down on the gun or the light then if you have it clamped down really tight because you don't want that gun to come out and it's not supposed to come out that's fine but what can happen is you go to draw your holster or draw your holster go draw your pistol and your whole holster comes with you like pulls your whole belt up that can happen so then you're like, well, I'll just loosen my holster. And then maybe your gun's not gonna stay in your holster. So with a thigh strap, you can basically crank down the retention, passive retention on the holster. By way of example, this one by carry concealment. And even though it's cranked down, thigh strap basically anchors it to your leg. So when you draw out, the holster's not coming with the gun. It allows you to just cleanly draw your pistol out. One, two, three. One of the problems though you can run into with thigh straps is they're too high. By way of example, on like the Safari ones or on this Blade Tech one, it's made for a strap to be up here. So if that strap comes around, if you are equipped as a man, not just identifying, but equipped as a man, that can be pretty uncomfortable because the strap is like smashing everything up there especially once you start dynamic movement running kneeling things along those lines so this pushes the whole thing down and largely alleviates that the other thing is with movement when your legs moving this piece can actually move independent of the holster so what would otherwise happen is if you have some sort of dynamic movement kneeling whatever it may be and this is not moving independently of the holster you can basically have that thigh strap push your entire belt and holster up where it probably doesn't need to get pushed whereas this you can move your leg it might move a little bit your belt but it's not going to shove everything up whereas if this was attached directly again with no movement to the actual holster or basically the hanger for the holster with that said, what has been my experience with the thigh strap hanger and what are my thoughts? Well, I've used it on a couple different setups to include this one. And I also used it with my Safari Land ALS on the modular holster adapter by True North Concepts. Again, still articulates on that one as well. And it pretty much across the board has done good for me. Again, it does exactly what it advertises. First and foremost, I will say, way more comfortable dropping that thigh strap down and having it be able to articulate. With active retention on holsters like the ALS, you don't run into that as much as far as like hard pull and drag your holster with you, as opposed to things like this where you have passive retention, you can crank it down because you don't want that gun coming out and basically end up pulling the holster with you this will let you crank the retention down really really tight and not have that holster come with you or when you go to draw the pistol and comfort wise like it definitely works to include just movement i ended up with my other one with als i was actually using it at the amtech training center with my buddy bill rapier and yeah quite an adventure there doing some skiing both down and then back up the hill and yeah comfortable full range of motion everything like that 
And same thing with this setup. I actually ended up going out doing some training out yeah, North Idaho in the cold and the snow and yeah, skiing forward, drawing the pistol out and working through those drills. So who do I think this would be good for? Well, if you're running a thigh strap, it's pretty much a meaningful improvement, especially if you're running it off of something like this, where it's basically putting it one really high, so it's uncomfortable, and connecting it to your holster. So when you move, it's gonna shove your whole holster with it. Definitely solves that. This material is Tigris, I think it's called. Stuff's actually pretty strong. I was talking to the owner, tested it. I think it broke at like 250 pounds. Why you would hang 250 pounds off that, I don't know. And yeah, overall, pretty solid. It's actually made local to me up in North Idaho. Price-wise, you're looking at about 35 bucks for the hanger. And then if you want a thigh strap, a couple different colors offered. I believe they're about 18 bucks. Overall, pretty solid, especially just a meaningful improvement if you are running a thigh strap. There'll be links down below. You can check them out. Again, Thigh Strap Hanger by Carry Concealment. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com, picking up stickers, patches, things like that, or supporting me directly through Patreon. All those things help me go out and create more content for you. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.